Jude? I'm home. Jude? Gotcha. It's fun to be scared sometimes, huh? It's bad. It's just a dome. It's pretty violent. I understand that some of Jude's behaviors would be upsetting, but I urge you to find a place where he feels safe. I think it will be good for him. Good for all of us. Oh my goodness, look at that. That must be the main house. Come on, Jude. Jude. It looks like he was broken before and put back together. Who's this handsome chap? Brahms. How'd you come up with that? He tells me all sorts of things. You okay? I just think it's all a little bit creepy. What are some of the things you talk about? The other families, he's loveless. Want to take the doll away from him? Yes. It's just a whisper first. Something is happening to him. He knew your boy would find him. Love you, mommy. This game, like life, requires forethought. So it's not about where you are. Please, I can't answer all your questions at once. It's where you will be in ten moves or ten years. A heart attack. I mean, how'd that even happen? Dad was in better shape than either of us. Lauren, there's something I need to discuss with you. What is it? Your father left this for you. And you alone. Does any daughter really know her father? Show me your face. Lauren Elizabeth Monroe. You're not like him. I suspect you're better than he ever was. Who are you? I'd like to think I'm a member of the family. Are there any old enemies of dads that I should be aware of? We both know he was no saint. If someone was threatening our family, we'd dump his body in the river. You said you could handle the truth. I know things I'll take to the grave. You give me what I ask for, and I will tell you everything. You think this is a game? What else was my dad hiding? A lawyer, a banker, a politician. Who'd you talk to? The unholy trinity. Your father had no right to do what he did. Quite the family. It doesn't prove anything. It doesn't prove anything! When all is said and done, you will know the truth. And you will set me free. The truth must stay buried. What is happening? What is...
is all of this? Did you see that article? Every year, these liberal elites kidnap a bunch of normal folks like us and hunt us for sport. The last I heard, free speech still exists. Don't First Amendment me. It wasn't real. Everybody get out of here! We were joking. There's been a killing spree. You gotta come here right now. You actually believed we were hunting human beings for sport. <laughs> but you are. We have an opportunity here to teach these people. These are not real people. They're actors. I'm playing an Arab refugee, but I identify as white. I think that's problematic too, in some way. You wanted it to be real, so you decided it was. kind of sick people would even think of something like that? White people. We're the worst. everything for me. You teach me. You cook for me. Am I a burden? Sweetheart, I could do more. I'm your mom. It's my job to take care of you when you need me. And you need me. Are you okay, Mom? Of course I'm okay. I have you. The medication has messed with her head. What's wrong? I'm Anna Fox. There are some things that need to be said about me. I have an anxiety disorder. I live across the street. My mom asked me to give you this. I'm not prepared for visitors. I'm a agoraphobic. I can't go outside. Let some of the outside come in. Your neighbor from across the street. Pretty sure you're not supposed to be taking these with alcohol. <laughs> Her name is Jane Russell. She's become a friend. Like your earrings. Oh, thanks. A gift from an old boyfriend. Does your husband mind? You could feel my pain. Well, our family's complicated. Jane, she's been stabbed. NYPD. Why is he here? Mr. Russell believes that you made a mistake. 
you have never met my wife. We spent the evening together. I'm Jane Russell. She's not Jane. I know what I saw. Your doctor said that your meds can cause hallucinations. Why are you protecting them? They're all hiding something. Her earring, it's in their house. You're playing with the wrong family. Do they know you're here alone? 911? I think somebody is in my house. Don't go looking into other people's houses. You won't like what you see. Detective Muldoon. This is Peter Spencer. Something happened to me at 44 Rayburn Drive. Someone was murdered at that house. Why did he never go into that place? Something never felt right about it. Looks like we got another one. Do you think that the body we found is related? Hello? I went to the house. Hello? Police department. I think something followed me home. Mommy, what's going on? What's wrong? We need to leave right now. five times while looking in the mirror. He appears in the reflection and it kills you. Who would do that? Candyman. 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 Well, we're still alive. <laughs> Let's go. Trina, you broke the door. feel really connected to this neighborhood. Cabrini Green. It was the projects. I just moved in around the corner. The old candy factory. I'm an artist. You're looking for candy, man. He's the monster. It's part of this neighborhood. Why are you drawn to this? I'm hoping to spread the story all about Candyman. The mirror invites you to summon him. You should say his name. I dare you. Candyman. 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 Don't. Don't say that. Candyman. I think I made a mistake. 
mistake. I brought him back. Candyman isn't real! Something's happening to me. He had a purpose for you. To be another one of his terrible stories. I guess he found me. I am the writing on the wall. The sweet smell of blood. in danger, girls like that. It was a perverted thing to say. You'd think you'd learn by that age, right? I need to lie down. What are you doing? It's okay, hey, you're safe. What are you doing? Hey, I said, what are you doing? Every week, I go to a club. I act like I'm too drunk to stand. And every week, a nice guy comes over to see if I'm okay. You okay? You are so pretty. I am a nice guy. Are you? One, two, three, four. I thought we had a connection. Okay. How old am I? What are my hobbies? What's my name? Sorry, maybe that one's too hard. Cassandra? <laughs> We're in class together at Forest. You would have been a great doctor. What happened? I left under unusual circumstances. You remember what happened, right? Why I dropped out. I'm not the only one who didn't believe it. We get accusations like this all the time. Who needs brains? They never did a girl any good. I'm so sorry I didn't go with her. You gotta let it go. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Why do you guys have to ruin everything? We were kids. If I hear that one more time, I have to give him the benefit of the doubt. I was hoping you'd feel differently by now. It's every guy's worst nightmare getting accused like that. Can you guess what every woman's worst nightmare is? I wanted to be a doctor my whole life. Lately, I've been feeling like I might want to get back into it. Tell me the fairy tale again. It's too scary, you know, start seeing things that aren't there. You've been turned out of your home. Set out to fend for yourselves with only your clothes and your hides. I'm hungry. I'm hungrier than you are. Because you're a pig. <laughs> Look. It smells of cake. over that, dear. I'd hate for you to start something you can't stop. Please make your acquaintance. I'm called Gretel, and this rough one here is my brother Hansel. Ouch! There's something wrong here. But it's so pleasant. Where are all the animals? From where does she draw milk? <laughs> I'm coming. This is your power. To see what is hidden and to take it. We were given a 
the same gift, the same magic. What did you do with him? All that is left is to make him.